，因为现在其实整个社会，嗯，就很多人他是特别浮躁的，他的生活压力很大，工作压力很大。那我希望他们在忙碌一天之后，打开看到我的视频的时候，他是轻松的，嗯，美好的，对，能给他减轻一些焦虑和压力感的东西，嗯，这样多好。Her life looks like one straight out of a fairy tale. Li Zhu Ti impresses millions with her videos, where she makes seemingly everything from scratch with her own two hands, from dyeing a dress with fresh grape juice to fashioning traditional lipstick from roses in her garden, to foraging on horseback, in order to prepare one exquisite meal after another. She has some 50 million fans in China and another 8 million overseas, but she remains a mystery to many of them. In her videos, she doesn't speak and she rarely gives interviews. But now she's ready to open up to us. To find Li, we had to travel to rural Sichuan province in southwestern China, where she grew up. So we've driven for almost two hours now. We've left the city and we're driving deeper and deeper into the countryside. Lee grew up with her grandparents here. She says she came to live with them after her stepmother mistreated her. But they were poor, so when she turned 14, Lee went to work in the city. In 2012, she decided to return to the countryside to take care of her grandmother. Four years later, she started filming her life there. Actually, I think I was working in the city more to survive. And now I'm living in the countryside more to survive. I think I would rather go to the countryside. What I want to bring to the audience is, of course, 以以前没有那么复杂，我只是单纯的说想让城里的朋友们让他们知道他们吃的食物是从哪里来的。因为我以前就是看听一个老师说，他说他们班的孩子他们以为水稻是从树上摘下来的。对，所以那个时候我我听了这个之后，我会想说，我想要让他们就城里面的孩子知道他们吃的食物是从哪里来的。嗯。The dishes she prepares range from a single condiment to elaborate multi-course meals, but whatever she makes, she leaves no stone unturned, going as far as raising baby ducklings just to make a sauce out of salted duck eggs. Some joke that she's brought a whole new meaning to the phrase "from scratch." Some of her other recipes are wholly original. In one video, she uses magnolia flowers to make pastries, and even deep fries the flour themselves. Apart from food, she's also known for her videos demonstrating traditional crafts, like building this bamboo furniture set, which she says was inspired by one of her grandfather's old benches. 小时候，我爷爷会在农忙间隙编一些竹制品去卖钱。那个时候他会做一些竹椅啊、竹凳子、扇子、背篓、呃、簸箕这些东西。我经常给他打下手。就是现在我回想起来，我们就是我跟我爷爷的一些回忆，就基本上还是这些画面。Lee's stylized depictions of rural life stand out in China's ultra-competitive field of online videos. The market has become lucrative. Estimated to be worth 6.5 billion U.S. dollars, Li's pensive and ethereal take has struck a chord with young people hustling in China's big cities. 我最早的时候是自己给自己拍，就是用这样一个三脚架，架在那里，然后自己构好图，按了开始，我再过去，然后操作完了这个镜头之后过去按掉。那它这个镜头其实它就是一个固定镜头，对吧？它是没有移动的，所以这个。是我现到现在，我的视频风格全部都是这样镜子的固定镜头，它的是这个原因的。嗯，啊，还有什么问题来着？<笑> But Lee is not without controversy. Some viewers have been skeptical of her claim that she started as a one-woman band. Two years ago, 
Lee posted a behind-the-scenes video to refute those claims. 在这以前，其实我也有尝试，就是把我没有剪辑的元素采访到网上。就给大家展示一下我是怎么工作的，但可能后来他们觉得，哎，你把你这么辛苦工作的，呃，内容放到网上，你是不是卖惨啊什么的？所以后来再听到这些所谓的负面，就懒得去回应了。Lee says she now works with one videographer and one assistant, but she's still the one calling the shots. 其实一开始到现在，我所有的视频拍什么、怎么拍，以及每个镜头的分镜头语言，都是我自己来主导，然后跟我的摄影师沟通，甚至是摄影师他都要到当天才知道我要拍什么内容。现在就只想拍完我还想完成的作品，专注于自己的内容嘛，别的东西对我其实影响倒不是很大。就把那些所谓的攻击当成是对自己作品的一种肯定吧。We weren't able to verify these claims because we were not allowed to observe Lee filming. But today, three years after she first picked up the camera, Lee is one of China's most successful online video makers. 成功这两个字其实还蛮重。我只是拍出了我的生活，或者说，我只是拍出了我想要的生活。就如果是再多一点的话，我觉得是，嗯。有了更多的责任感，就是想尽自己的能力多做一些有意义的事情。